My name's Ed Perkins and I'm a documentary filmmaker. It feels incredibly humbling and uh, I feel very privileged to be named as a Breakthrough Brit this year. To be able to enter into a programme and, and to, to hopefully um, gain kind of guidance and mentorship means a huge amount to me um, and I see it as an enormous opportunity. Having BAFTA support this year will mean the world. I turned 30 this year and um, I'm very proud of the work that I've done but I'm sort of my own harshest critic and I know that I've got a huge amount to learn and I want to keep making, making films and, and becoming a better and better filmmaker um, and so to, to be part of the BAFTA family for, for a year and to be able to learn from people who are far more experienced and talented than I am um, will be an extraordinary opportunity. The thing I'm most excited about is the kind of the, the, the mentorship and guidance program. My experience on my feature documentary showed me that if there's one thing you could do at, at this stage in your career it is to kind of surround yourself by people who are much much more talented and experienced than you are and people who can kind of save you from the mistakes that you inevitably make. I feel very fortunate to have already made one documentary but I'm really excited about pushing on and getting a second started. We're already in development on a second one which is really exciting and I'm also really excited to, to be working with Channel 4 on a project at the moment and to get something um, onto, onto television. I think it's really important because unlike a lot of other industries I think there aren't obvious kind of career paths. Um, especially in directing. With filmmaking, with documentary directing especially, at any stage, at any age, you can make, make your first film and you can direct. And, and as empowering as that is, it's also quite scary because there's a lot of people trying to do the same thing. A lot of the projects I do are quite long form and sometimes they can be quite, be quite lonely experiences because you're going off with, with characters for, for, for a long period of time. And so I'm really excited about meeting like-minded people who I can bounce ideas off and we can hopefully collaborate on projects and, and develop ideas together. The first time I kind of picked up a camera and went off and tried to tell a story, it was a very um, empowering moment. Since then, and that was probably eight or nine years ago, I found having a camera on my shoulder has opened up so many opportunities and it's allowed me to travel to so many places that I would have never had the chance to see and to meet people uh, that I would have never had the chance to meet. And that's very, very exciting. And I don't take the responsibility lightly of telling people stories, but it's such a privilege to be allowed into other people's worlds and for them to trust you with their stories. And for me, being a documentary filmmaker has allowed me to go and experience and access the world in a way that um, I don't think I would have um, otherwise been able to do. The highlight of my career so far, I think probably this, being chosen as a breakthrough Brit. Um, it's not something I ever expected to happen. and. I feel incredibly humbled by it. It's strange because some of the obvious highlights that we've had over the last couple of years, we, we managed to um, be accepted to Tribeca Film Festival, so we premiered the film there, and it was an extraordinary experience. But going to those events, I, it sort of inspires me more just to, to get back to the characters that, uh, and to spend time and to be making, making more films. Um, but I would say that, yeah, this, this, this honour is, is, is right up there. I think it hasn't really sunk in yet, but walking up the stairs of BAFTA, it just feels kind of like a dream. When I got the phone call, the first thing I kind of said on the phone was, I've got a list, I've already written the list of everything that I need support with. It's more the guidance and the mentoring that I think I'll really, really benefit from this year. I was really impressed with the diversity across all film, game and TV, actually, and that's probably the word that um, comes to mind the most. 